Nick Rutter from McKees37.com. I want to give you a brief video showcasing the five different actions of the new LC Power Tools Udo's 51E. Unless you've been sleeping under a rock the last couple of years, you're well aware that Lake Country has been working diligently at developing a patented tool, the first of its type, that combines five polishers into one unique design. I have more in-depth videos that cover other features, but I just want to briefly cover what each mode is and why you would use it. So first and foremost, come on in. You're going to see an R, an S, a P1, and a P2, and a P3. Each one of these changes the action of the tool. So R stands for rotary, which means it is a direct drive. It spins um, in one direction. There's no oscillation. And the reason that you would use rotary mode is to remove heavy defects, sanding marks. If you work at a body shop, after you wet sand a vehicle, you're going to cut and buff using a rotary traditionally. That way you get in, get the job done, get the sanding marks out. And then for a swirl-free finish, you follow with a dual action polisher, which is normally a separate machine. So with rotary mode, and again, this machine is variable speed. I'll show you rotary mode. Again, it just spins in a circle. It's a direct drive motion. Rotary mode would not be for beginners. Rotary mode is going to be for more experienced users because again, um, if, unless you're an expert with polishing, it's very easy to burn through paint with the rotary mode. And of course, you're going to leave swirl marks with a more aggressive pad. So the next mode, come on in. Now it's really important that everything is lined up, otherwise this collar is not going to pull back. So each mode has a line, and you line up the head, and then you line up the backing plate. And this tool is brand new. And Jason Brennan explained to me that when they're brand new, they're a little stiff. And you'll see it lock into place. Now it's in sanding mode. So you can use the machine to um, wet sand a vehicle. You can use sanding mode to remove some deeper scratches. And with sanding mode, it's an 8 millimeter orbit. So Jason Brennan from Lake Country explained to me that you never really get to use sanding mode for polishing. Sanding mode as the S designates, is for sanding. For polishing, you're going to switch it over to P1, so we'll get everything lined up. And just for, for demonstration, you can see what the sanding looks like. So at this point, it's now a dual action, which means the pad rotates and oscillates. So to go to P1, we're going to line everything up. This is always easier when you're not being filmed. And you'll notice here there's a silver line and there's a warning that's saying, hey, listen, don't use the tool if this is exposed because right now you're switching modes. It's really important that you do not see that line and you have a real satisfying click that tells you when you're locked in. And of course, the visual indicator of having that line exposed is removed. So now P1 is a 12 millimeter orbit. So when I say 12 millimeter or 8 millimeter or 15 or 21, that's... Um, uh, how much area the, the backing plate, the action of the tool, covers. So 8 millimeters smaller, 12 millimeters, millimeters bigger, then 15, then 21. And normally, the larger the stroke, you know, the orbit of the tool, the more correction ability you have. So here's a 12 millimeter. You can check this out. Now, it's worth noting, Jason B Brennan gave me some tips yesterday and said, when you're in um, the random orbital slash DA mode, you know, P1, P2, P3, you want to be at speed three or above. Anything below speed three is primarily designed for when the tool is in the rotary function, because I believe it goes down to 600 RPM in rotary function. So we'll be at speed three, and I'll start it up. So very smooth and very balanced. Now the reason Lake Country combined five tools into one is to make the art of polishing paint, or the craft as some people would call it, more enjoyable. Um, you don't have to have multiple tools on hand. You know, if you like to keep it simple, you just have one tool. It does the job of five different tools. So that's P1. That's a 12 millimeter orbit. So switch over and go to P2, which is 15 millimeter orbit. And as soon as you get to 15 mils, 
I think that's when it's considered a, a large throw or a long throw machine. That satisfying click. And check it, take a look at, the, at the, the pad, you'll see the higher the mode, the more area it's going to cover. I think that 15 is probably going to be the most popular. So to go to P3, same old song and dance, get everything lined up. And again, we're not going to ever start the tool when this silver line is exposed. That's like starting the tool when the backing plate is not fully attached. So it's easy. You have this machine. It's like putting your seatbelt your seat belt down when you get in a car. You don't even think about it. You don't start driving your car with the door open, do you? No. You don't use the tool unless it's locked in. It's the same thing. So we're going over. And I love this click too, by the way. This is such a satisfying click. Ah, perfect. Now we're at 21 millimeter. So this is going to cover a lot more area. All right, check this out. Now, if you're sitting there scratching your head going, well, Nick, to me, less is more. Why do I need all these different modes? Well, the reason is simple. Number one, because it's cool. LC Power Tools has spent years developing this tool. They've spent a ton of money on manufacturing. It's assembled in Wisconsin from globally sourced parts. It's patented. It's just an awesome design. And number two, when you're working on a big flat panel, you want to get in, get the job done, get it done right, and get paid, you would use P3. You cover a lot more area. You're going to get awesome correction ability. And then for smaller panels, maybe you're working on a more complex vehicle like your brother's girlfriend's college roommate's Fiat 500 and it has smaller panels with all these curves and contours and complex lines that's when you're going to switch to a smaller stroke because you're going to get more efficient pad rotation compared to the 21 because unless it's in rotary mode this is still a free spinning machine so it, it, it's it's a it's not forced rotation so you still have to practice proper technique and the pad has to be flat in order for the machine to effectively rotate and oscillate and last but not least, I want to show you the mechanism of how this works. I'm going to wipe off my polish. As you can see how easy fast polish is to remove. So easy. Look at that. Come on in, Ricky, and get a, take, a look, take a look at that gloss and reflection. I could shave in this black panel. Anyway, so the tool has, or comes with a Allen key, your typical Allen key. in there take this backing plate off and we'll show you the meat and potatoes of this awesome tool and you'll see in my other videos I mentioned that Lake Country Manufacturing is the world's largest pad manufacturer and it's their first foray into manufacturing tools like this so you can see here's your counterweight and as you change the settings we'll get this lined up and I don't know if I can do it with the, with the backing plate off. Oh, I can. Okay. So, here, take a look at that. Getting close. So I'm going to change this from P3, P2, and you can see the whole, um, it's like the spindle assembly moves. There's P1. There's sanding. And I'm not sure if I can get into rotary with the pad. Oh, I can. So when you're in rotary, the spindle assembly is perfectly centered. Just spins in one way. As soon as you change the modes, it becomes offset, and your counterweight is going to have that effect for the larger stroke. See that again and again. Those satisfying clicks. Listen to this. Listen. Get close. Here, I'll get close to the mic. It just sounds so awesome. So anyway, that's the LC Power Tools Udos 51E, a five-in-one polisher. It's a fantastic tool. Its availability will be mid-September 2020 at mckees37.com. You can pre-order the tool now. By the time you watch this or shortly after, we'll have tons of kits with our automotive line, with our marine line, Nautical One, all those great lines. But it's an awesome tool. Whether you're a beginner or a professional, you can't go wrong with this machine. And it's great to start off with a dual action. They're much more user-friendly. 
And as you become experienced polishing, you get that itch to use a rotary buffer. Well, instead of having to go out and buy another tool, you can simply change the mode on your Udo's 51 to make it a rotary. So again, McKees37.com. I'm Nick Rudder. Take care. God bless.